Hi, I'm Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. Check us out at ketochow.xyz. I'm Chris, also a co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, we have a couple of products that we created to help make doing a keto diet easier. Our main product is a complete keto meal that you can customize to fit the macros that work best for you. We also have some electrolytes that are awesome. We do this live stream to keep you updated with all of our Keto Chow happenings to help us be accountable, stay on track, and have you with us on our journey. So thanks for joining us. Yep. And we have Haley here today. Ta-da! Hi, Haley. I was secretly hiding. Sneak attack. <laughs> 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 you have to be in the frame now that you're okay. in the frame. Okay. This is, this your, is the best I got. I've fancy, got zoomed out and I've got zoomed in. Fancy so. Scooby-Doo shirt. Yep. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Yeah. So Haley's here for a second. You have to be in the frame. Because, because <laughs> well, I'm not eating solid food right now other than salmon. And Miriam. Yes, I am wanted... eating no dairy and no nuts. And I'm not going to fail. So, but we have this bakery that sent us some awesome stuff. Okay, what's the name of the bakery? So we wanted to check uh, it out. Do you want to open sweet. it up? It's called Sweet Caroline. Loving Heart, Loving Heart Treats. Treats. Loving sounded like loving heart, heart hearts, treats. but it's loving heart treats. Yes. Are you sharing okay. your screen or not? Um, I I will. Here okay. we go. It's in Orange, California. O- is Orange. this the right one? Yeah. Hey, hey, there yeah. it is. Okay, so the thing that we have is that expensive thing right oh. there. Holiday gift sampler. Holy cow. But it's a lot of things. It's not just that one little box. And all this. Yeah. What? There's freaking donuts? I know. Don't those look Are those going to go in the freezer? Because I want some. Uh, yeah, we could put everything in the freezer. <laughs> so, okay. But I wanted to have Holy Haley crap. open. Okay, so there's the macros right there. Nice. So they've got the carbs. The oh, and, and so carbs. as to not repeat themselves over and okay, over so again. Okay, so they did cake base, almond flour, pecan flour, nice. egg, xylitol, monk fruit, ghee, vanilla, extract, baking powder, salt. Nice. So the one thing that I am unsure about is it says, donut so days. don't, oh, you're doing it too fast. Okay. Sorry. We just need to read one. So look okay. at the keto chocolate brownie. So cake base, dark chocolate. Okay. That's, so that's the cake base and dark chocolate. Yeah. So that's it. It's the same um, thing plus dark chocolate. Nice. But there's one. Okay. So keto raspberry almond cake, right? That one says fiber, six grams, fat, eight Cake base, organic raspberries, almond. So the only thing I'm not sure... They're not including xylitol. They're not putting anything in the nutrition information for... Uh, oh, for how much sweetener there is? Well, for how many, uh, how much sugar alcohol. Okay, but what is the fiber is what I'm wondering. Uh, the fiber is going to be almond flour and pecan flour. It's not additional fiber? No. It's not like... No, I don't see anything in their ingredients that would be a sweetened fiber that would like be Like a tapioca fiber? Yeah, and there's nothing like that. You've got xylitol, okay. which isn't the best, but it's not the worst, and it also has better characteristics. I would use allulose Yeah. because in addition to killing your dog, xylitol isn't as good as xylitol. I mean, well, it's allulose. But. Well, they have a really cute website. Interestingly enough, their uh, cookie Orange. base does not have um, xylitol. Oh, what do they have in the? Oh, but they days? add they add xylitol. Looks like to most of them. So. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> and the thing is, xylitol measures like sugar, so it's pretty easy. Okay. Anyway, we wanted so, to open it up and and check it out. So it it was packaged super cute. Look at this cute um, red and white fluffy fluff instead of just the plain old paper. So that was fun. And look how cute it is, guys. It's so cute in this sparkly wow. box. With and this is so this is exactly what they took a picture of. And then yeah. there's the card. Haley, hold up that little card. It's really little. It's so cute though, right? So, so open cute. It up and look we at both it. only have one hand. We yeah, we both have one hand. It is. There's the card that's in the it's picture. It's a clear card. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a little baby. Yeah, it's with the address little. orange. Yeah, it says Orange County. Okay. It's a baby. Oh, and Hard isn't thing. that a cute little tin? It has, I think, um, candied nuts in it. Okay. So we should open now, it up. Now, Haley, too. did you want to try some of the cookies, or what did you want to try? Uh, and this is that huge thing. That Okay, so it's carrot. Can you see it oh, on the freak, screen? That thing is huge. It's heavy, too. 
Let's see. Like, it's mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's super tense. Holy freaking cow! <laughs> so I'm thinking that weighs like two pounds. If we freeze that, you could just slice off a thing, and it would be really. This weighs good. like as much as a bag of keto chips. It is really heavy. Is that one as heavy? No, that's the donut. That's still pretty heavy. But this is like holy cake. crap. Okay, so this is the chocolate brownie, keto hey, banana Brown's pecan on. bread. Almond Carrie Brown cake. says, we remember that Carrot all cake. sweeteners do different things to bake yes. goods. Yes, they do, yes. And so Although, this is what they I've chose to really use. I've had really good all. results with allulose. Yep. So, anyway. So, Haley, open one up and, and taste one. What Meanwhile, one do you want to I'm going to say hi to people. Uh, I'm going to okay. taste one of these cookies. Come so, on, taste one of the donuts. Here's a knife if you need it. Do it. Uh, Mike says, happy Prime Day. You can probably cut along the sides if they're if it is taped down. Yeah, it is. Uh, um, Emily says, hi, everyone. Hi, TC's Life says, hello, all. Parrot Head Renee says, hey, howdy, hi. Hi, Renee. Debbie says, hey, guys. Hunger Heath says, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Mm -hmm. Deb says, good evening, everyone. Nan says, hello, all. I Shana believe says, you, Haley. Hi, Chris and Miriam and Haley. It's H I. A it's H A I L E Y. Yeah, that's right. That's what Debbie Debbie spelled it. Don't yeah, we spelled it like Haley Mills. Yes. Unlike like some Bear. people, we don't hate our children. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, people can spell their kids' names however they want. That's true. Um, Sonia says howdy bears. Keita Dana says hi all. Lori says woot woot. Carrie says big bags. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Um, Parrot Renee uh, says, um, hey hungry heathen Shelly. And, hey, Carrie, we're so glad you showed up. Yeah, Carrie, you're the best. Um, Sean says, really boom, boom. Mike says, our house is also in a situation yeah. where every single person seems to be on a different diet. Um, oh, Sean says, ooh, do they ship? There? They do they ship. Well, because we got yeah, some. Yeah, they sent it to okay, us. So, so this is their Christmas some bundle. Some like yeah. the whole thing. And we're just going to put do the whole thing in the, the freezer. peanut butter chocolate? Yeah, it looks like peanut butter. Peanut so, butter chocolate. So let's see. Lori sent the address on Facebook. It's Loving Heart treats.com well there's Wendy's all on well, and the lady was super cute um, chatting with me back and forth ooh what do you think does it smell good peanut butter stop <laughs> it can you just because you're not one? eating doesn't mean other people can't enjoy themselves okay let's see okay uh, let's see Shauna says like okay well there's Wendy says hi Julia says hola guys I want to try your new mineral drink but I'm afraid of the bad taste Oh yes. Well, First off, let's see. Bad. Haley, how does how does that taste? It's, okay. it's cakey, right? It's okay. Yeah. Or it's the good. chocolate is definitely not like sweet chocolate, but it's still good. Okay. But so, what's the texture like? Is, is it, it like spongy? super thick, or is it like eggy? It's pretty thick. It smells like she's just eating a jar of peanut butter in my face. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Which would be problematic for Heather because mm. Heather's not doing peanut butter. Because Heather's amazing. That's right. And she decided to set a goal okay. and she's been keeping Maybe it. So Julia one, well, had a question about the new mineral drops. Okay, I'm just so my own experience with the mineral drops, this is what I did when I was doing a 72-hour fast. I would drink about half of a regular bottle of water like disposable water bottle, I would put a tablespoon of the um, daily minerals in there and then a packet of true lemon. Mix it up. Is that coconut? The, Caramel, coconut, the, the citrus, strawberry? The citrus in the true lemon strawberry. takes away so much of the weirdness of the minerals. It is frankly astonishing. Like, I... Just doing it straight was just, it was like, whoa. Like, I was tasting copper all day long. But when I added the uh, the true lemon to it, I actually just sat there and kind of just sucked on it. Because it was actually pretty good. Is that more cakey? It looks more it's cakey. It's a wet it one. It kind of looks like they just dumped some strawberry jam okay. on top. But that's, okay, it smells really good. Heather says hello, everyone. Uh, Matreya says, uh, Xylitol, though. I have a dog. His name is Dyson for a reason. Because <laughs> he sucks everything up. Aww. So what do you think? Filling in them. Yep. They should do that. Then, yeah, Put Carrie said the thing about uh, the sweeteners. And Carrie is very... the reason. Uh, one of the reasons why she says that is because Xylitol works exceptionally well in ice cream. And a lot of other the sweeteners, sweeteners do not. Yeah. Um, allulose, I've had really good results with in ice cream, but anyway, Joe's on. Hi, Joe. He's on. Very, very he's on the Facebooks. Uh, that's coconut. What is that one called? Yeah, and Anthony pointed out that xylitol is It'll not be in the frame. 
Is coconut it, caramel. Oh, coconut, coconut caramel. caramel. How does it taste? It smells coconutty. So, and Anthony pointed out the xylitol. Um, it isn't, it's not like erythritol, which is kind of like most people have no glycemic response to it. Xylitol people have a moderate glycemic response. It's like 40% as much as glucose sort of thing. So. Oh, and in case you guys want to know, Haley is a legit source. She's been keto for probably three years. I started on September 27, 2017. There you go. So she she knows keto too. I actually didn't know if Haley was serious about doing keto or not. And we were on a road trip and I sent her while I was emptying out the black water tank of a, of our trailer. I sent her into the convenience store to get some snacks and she came back with peanuts and some beef jerky and some diet soda because that was all she could find. Yeah, she that got was a low water. carb. She hasn't had diet soda like forever. She doesn't even drink had, soda. Well, it was the middle of summer. I realized I'd gone a week without drinking soda, so I'm like, mm, I might as well keep going. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you guys? Th- what do you think about this company, Haley? Um, the donuts are a little bit weird, but they're better than a lot of the other donuts I've seen. Okay. Oh yeah. Carrie says allulose makes things cakey in texture, but also browns yeah. and cooks way faster. Yeah, than well, and it others. does the same stuff that sugar does. Yeah. I've noticed too. A lot of times in, in recipes, people won't put granulated or um, powdered. If there's say erythritol, erythritol, and then you just don't know dissolve. what you're doing. I always use powdered always, erythritol. Always just every tastes time. crystally. So I'm, yeah, it's nice to have a cookbook, Carrie Brown, that has very specific. <laughs> yes, thank asks. you. So thank and you very grams, much. Yeah. freaking grams. That's yeah, the best. All recipes <laughs> should have grams. grams. Because okay, there's nothing worse than measuring peanut time. butter without a scale. Cool. Anyway, Don says hello. Hi, Don. <laughs> Seriously, once you go scale for measuring your ingredients, you don't yeah. go back. It is so much easier. Uh, Don says hello from MS. Is that Mississippi or Minnesota? Or Mars? Missouri. What the heck? Is it Mars? I can't remember. I think Missouri is MO. This got a lot of uh, Kathleen says, money. good evening, bears and Keto Chef family. Chris and Miriam, I want to thank <laughs> you so much for the mineral <laughs> supplements. If anyone's well, on the fence, time. I say, get it. Those treats look fabulous. There you go. Okay, so yeah. That oh, probably open up this, Haley, and just taste one of these nuts. I'm a crazy, crazy fan. Um, Deshaun says, hello from Candy Indianapolis. Nuts. Anthony says, carnivore for the win. There you go. Did I say Christine Stone said hi, everyone? I don't think so. Okay. Christina, there's an A on Dang it. You're right. Um, Deborah Lynn says, thank you for being such, wo- for being such wonderful Aww, hosts. Oh, you're so nice. Heather said, thank you. I never thought no peanut butter would be so hard. Look how cute. Oh, they're candy. Oh my gosh, look how cute Candy this. pecans. Is it pecans? Can I smell? Uh, here. Multiple different things. Bring it over here. Oh, yeah. It's different. In the zoomed in. Oh, my in. gosh. That smells amazing. Bring it into the zoomed in. So there there's almonds and pecans and maybe, okay. I don't know, maybe walnuts. Uh, Keto Dana different. said, winter ice think? cream makers as good as the Quinizine Art one. Actually, so the 1.6 um, quart one that's on uh, Prime Day, as far as I can tell, is as good as the Cuisine Art one. It's just a different size. So I wouldn't hesitate. If you need one of those and you have the money to buy one, I wouldn't hesitate to get one. Uh, Julia says, cool, thank you. Parahead Renee said, I went cold turkey from peanut butter years ago. Just like pasta. It's like crack for me. Can't keep it around. Okay, just a second. Okay. We just need to finish this box, and then we can talk about our regular stuff. Okay. Are you going to open one of those, Haley, or not? I'm looking at it. While she's looking at it, I'm going to keep saying hi to people. Uh, Shauna mm-hmm. says, LOL, at Christmas, bears open a box of goodies. Hmm, there are bites out of all of these. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Let's great. just do that another day. Okay. Uh, this one another day? Yeah. yeah, that one. So go put everything in the freezer. <laughs> that you ate. With all the bites taken out of it. <laughs> With all the bites taken out of it. And we will make sure to tell them thank you for sending us stuff. Here, you get up off my lap. I'm like, what is and that? Then, and okay. then I'll hand it to you. Thanks, honey. All right. Um, Brandon said, great tip for the electrolytes. I do that too. Help me. T- ma- helps mask the taste of no salt, the potassium chloride. Speaking of no salt. This is crazy. Um, there is a rather well-known uh, keto influencer who likes to flout the fact that she's over 50 and is in really great shape. Anyway, 
She went on a rant I don't know about, who you're about potassium chloride being terrible for you and ruining your liver. Really? And like on a on an Instagram story. Just recently? Yeah, like last week. And so somebody's said, hey, does your guy's stuff use potassium chloride? Because this lady said that your drops, your electrolyte drops uh, are terrible because they use potassium chloride. And it was going to ruin your liver. And I looked at, I looked and looked and looked because I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Uh, there is nothing that indicates there is any problem with potassium chloride. Unless you're getting, I think it was uh, 150 grams of it a day, which is... That's a lot. Well, do you think maybe lot. she was referring to if you're having, um, not liver, maybe kidneys? Mm -mm. At no, the, she, she, she was talking about the liver. Your fatty liver, and you can't have too much potassium. That's kidneys, not liver. Well, that's what I was wondering. Maybe and it's not potassium chloride. Was she, was, she was talking about the form of potassium. Yeah. She said potassium chloride was well. bad. Other forms of potassium are what you want. You, what you want. And I did some research into it, and the only thing that anywhere where it talks about problems with the liver mm -hmm. and potassium chloride is if people have low potassium, it can damage their liver, and they use potassium chloride to fix that. So okay. I don't know what she was talking about, but anyway. Angela says, someone got his hair cut. Yes, I did. Yeah. Mir Miriam did it. And I didn't do my hair today. Don't I look amazing? <laughs> Uh, Mike says that he limits himself to two tablespoons of uh, peanut butter a day. Um, That's Sonny a says, good rule. Looks like the bar she is eating has a brownie consistency. Nice. Yeah, yeah. They look really um, good. They smell good. Sarah said, hey guys, I made custard with the lemon kio chow. It was delicious. <gasps> yes. I want to toss some allulose on some of that. And oh, and try to do a creme brulee. Mm -hmm. We should do that. Uh, you know what? I bet Carrie Brown could do that. Carrie Brown. I need Carrie a says, brulee. "Don't get me started on keto internet recipes." Yeah, Carrie, I, I, I feel. I've I feel got like one for you. You're gonna make her mad. No, I'm not gonna make her mad. <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna make. Are. I'm gonna. She's gonna facepalm. Okay. <laughs> Today, somebody oh. asked. Okay, on our website. Here, I'll switch over to. Whoop, whoopsie. Um, on our website, you go to the recipes page. Wow, that is really big. Um, and if you search for chaffles, here's the chaffles. Okay, what are the three ingredients in chaffles? Eggs and cheese. Eggs, cheese, keto chow, right? Because that's what we like. You don't have to do that. Okay. And they're fantastic. They're absolutely amazing. Like Grilled cheese sandwiches. Come on. I still have not had grilled cheese I had yet. someone ask, how can I make your chaffle recipe with no dairy or eggs. Cheese. Just cheese. Cheese has dairy. Cheese. Oh. Keto chow has dairy. You can't. <laughs> All three ingredients have dairy or eggs. Just cheese. Oh, wait. That's true. <laughs> I was like, yeah, uh, That would be why I'm not yeah. having chocolate. <laughs> hey, so that person's watching. They're going to get their feelings hurt. I don't think they will. Uh, Mike says, I've spent hundreds of hours on Amazon since Monday. <laughs> Lots of good deals. <laughs> oh, man. I need a Pazell. That says Mississippi. There you okay. go. Uh, Ron, this is Good Evening Bears. Hi. Um, and Heather says, yeah, she she had an unhealthy relationship with peanut butter, too. Yeah. Anthony says, grams rule. You know, since I started doing all this formulation stuff, I think in grams. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what a tablespoon is anymore unless I get one of those out. And I'm like, but how many grams is that? Yeah, um, it's funny because we just got used to measuring in grams, and it's so much easier. Nice. Uh, Matreya says that she got the 1.6 quart ice cream maker. Nice. Um, make sure you grab Carrie Brown's ice cream. Oh cookbook. my gosh, you will not regret. It. it is the best ice Speaking cream of peanut I've butter. tasted in my life. I've made the peanut butter ice cream recipe from that cookbook no less than ten times. I have eaten that peanut butter recipe a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matreya got a soda stream for the sparkling water. I don't know if I said that already. Shauna says, Haley, did you try the peanut butter sauce? I mean, oh, I think did. she did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's Keto Dana said, trigger pulled then. Got to have ice cream. Keto chow ice cream in my life. Uh, Deborah Lynn says, just realized you don't meet, ha know me as Deborah Lynn. LOL. I'm Shauna Cypher's. Oh, oh yes. I did, DL. I did um, okay. click that in after we read your comment. Nice. Okay. 
Heather said I would legit eat that whole box of goodies. So would I. So it's yeah, a good so thing I'm, I'm not eating. I'll be surprised she doesn't finish some of those donuts when she goes downstairs. She's like, can I eat this one? Can I eat this one? Yeah. But she also is very metabolically flexible. And if she eats more than we would eat, she would probably, probably still be in ketosis better that she and be eats okay. it than I do. Anthony so, loves his cuisine, our ice cream yeah. maker. Oh, and we should have told her to share some with Kate. Share some with Kate. Uh, <laughs> She's down there. Laurie says, men eating peanut butter has been linked to prostate cancer. Good thing you don't eat it anymore. There oh, you wow. go. Rhonda says, I know who that is. <laughs> Patty <laughs> says, I got the banana flavor and mixed it with plain yogurt, and it tastes just like banana pudding. Speaking of banana, what is the flavor of the week, Miriam? Banana. It is one of my favorite flavors to make into keto chow ice cream. You cannot have it right now. I am sorry. It's true. Well, because right now I am doing three meals of keto chow a day, and I'm changing around the, the, the fat that I'm using. And I'm trying to do it consistently, so I'm, I'm actually only doing chocolate. So 84 consecutive meals of chocolate keto chow. Anyway. Your hair does look really cute. Okay, it is kind of sticking up right there. I think right I there. like it sticking up. There, it now, it's, now it's kind of now softer. Now it's even more sticking there up. There you go. Um, like Anthony says potassium citrate is better. Better by what measure, though? It does absorb quicker, but it also changes the pH of your system. So it's it's you, they're both useful for different things. Um, anyway, Mike says clear up that misinformation, Chris. Otherwise, you'll be answering this question every day forever. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, that's true. I'll still be answering it. True that. Uh, DL says, love the colors in your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ronnie says, I knew Chris looked different. I thought weight loss. I have lost six and a half pounds since I started. Yeah, of hair. Uh, yeah, of hair. <laughs> Actually, I probably lost a half a pound of hair. No, but since I started doing the keto chow with extra virgin olive oil last Monday, I did lose six and a half pounds as of this morning. Um, I'm on butter phase now. Butter! So I, I whipped out the Chef Chamois super shirt. super happy. I have a Chef it's Chamois so good. shirt, too, that says butter on it. It's insanely good. It's um, pink. Mike says, I want a grilled cheese sandwich. I want a pink grilled one. cheese sandwich, too. Um, mm. Brandon says that he uses both no salt, uh, which is potassium. Uh, yeah, he uses both. Um, but potassium citrate is easier for, for me to get a large dose of it because I can just buy it in bulk and mix it in the water. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Heather says, uh, me too. And Mike says, chaffles without dairy and eggs is called salt. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, garlic, <laughs> too. I always put garlic on there. Yeah. Uh, Lori says, use dairy-free Kite Hill cheeses. Oh, I'm not yeah. sure how Kite that would Hill work. Kite Hill has um, cream cheese. Maria Emmerich has it recommended. Okay. Problem was, I couldn't just go to my grocery store and buy it. I had to order it. Brandon says, but getting eggnog good. soon because I love it for the holidays. I miss it. I haven't had it in almost three years since starting keto. <gasps> whoa, whoa. I think we're going to have yeah, eggnog I think we're in have stock. It next week. Um, they, they've been Keeping delivering. Well, let's, let's talk about it right now. Beef soup base is back in stock. Yes, we got a delivery today. And for those of you who don't know, beef soup base, the idea with that is there's no flavor it's just added a blank to you. Slate. So you can add in clams or make a lobster bisque. Make lobster bisque or throw in some cauliflower and broccoli and cheese mm -hmm. or something like that. It's Bacon, it's a blank base that you sausage. can use. Yeah. Um so beef soup base is back in stock. Strawberry is yes, back in which stock. Yes, strawberry was out of stock. And Mocha yeah, is back mocha in stock. Mocha was only out of stock for a couple of days. Yeah. But it is now back in stock. Yay! That's correct. Um, what is that? Is that... Oh. That's something. Don't even worry about it. You just something keep on talking. Else. I yeah. will talk about something else. Um, do you want to talk about that? Yes. Oh, the raspberry cheesecake were proof today. The bags were. And they should be printed very soon. I didn't know we're out of stock of raspberry cheesecake. We're out of stock of raspberry I cheesecake. Yeah, we've been out of stock of raspberry Whoopsie. cheesecake for a while. Well, we're trying. We're trying to keep up. Yep. So, yeah. It's it's not happy, but so that's what it is. So we got an awesome shipment today, and we're so excited. <laughs> but we did not get the eggnog, but we'll see, we're going to see them again because they said they had more stuff for us soon. That's so right. So I'm guessing that's eggnog next week. Yep. And speaking of getting bags of stuff, in case you guys didn't see, we had the bags, the printed bags. Check that out. Can they see this? Yeah, yeah, they can see that. Isn't that cool? It's so great. It's so empty, but it's so close. It's like within my reach. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, I'm 
I'm super happy. Okay. So for those of you who haven't, um, so I'm gonna switch over to our, our website here. Okay. So that's the lemon meringue. So we've been out of, we decided to bring it in as a, uh, as a permanent flavor. Yes. But the, the, and so we had the samples, and they, they sold out. And, you know, let's see. I don't see what you're seeing. Oh, look. Lemon meringue is in stock. <laughs> what the heck? What? <laughs> there it is. It's here. We're so excited. You can get it right now. You can get it right now. We got that today. I haven't even seen today. one. Today. <laughs> it was a good shipment day. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, Cara had Renee says some people use chia seeds as an egg substitute. There you go. Mike says he's going to buy more banana. It's always in heavy rotation. Peridone likes banana. Anthony, yeah, you, uh, potassium citrate is good to prevent kidney stones. And we do actually use potassium citrate in keto chow mm -hmm. and potassium chloride. Yeah. Um, Sean says, I tried eggnog for the first time when I was in Utah. I made it with butter, hot with mm -hmm. coffee. It was amazing. Brandon says, can you take, taste the extra virgin olive oil? Yes. Yes. And it's terrible. Don't do it. <laughs> if you... Dude. Deb yeah. says banana's her favorite. Nice. Mike says butter. Robert says hi, my peeps. This is Robert Denny from Oh, hey, from oh, Holiday. Hi, Robert. How are How's you? How's it going? Uh, Hunger he said I add ba I like adding bacon bits Ooh, to my that chocolate. Oh, good. that's nuts. Uh, Mike says French onion soup from beef is sounding good. Yeah, Sean that says my good. mocha subscription is on the way. Hunger he says I have yet another reason to eat broccoli. Uh, Victoria says beef soup base is great on its own. I can only imagine adding to it. I'll have to check out your site for ideas. There's quite a few recipes. Uh, mm -hmm. Mary says, today was day three of Keto Chow, and so far my favorite is nice, strawberry. Nice, Mary. Heather says, wow. Jessica says, yeah, I love lemon meringue. Shauna says, ooh, the oh, excitement. Wow. <laughs> Mike says, I made four raspberry cheesecakes on Friday and went on an egg fast for about 30 hours. Oh, nice. Matreya says, yay. Do you feel good so, after says, egg what? Fast? Hope you get a lot of lemon. And then he says, holy crap. <laughs> Sean says, be right back. Uh, Sean says, your sweet flavors are amazing, but I'm ner nervous about trying the soup flavors. Now They're they totally different. They are. If you do not like bone broth, you won't like them because they so have kind of the that roasted, kind of the, that roasted, roasted flavor. Bone flavor. So it's a bean, bean, <laughs> beef, and a bone broth protein. And so it, it really tastes totally different. So if you, if you don't like bone broth, you won't like it. But that's yeah. what it tastes like. Yep. Um, let's see. Mike says, wow, big stick, big news. Uh, lemon. Now you will have to make some new stickers for the plastic <gasps> Dang bottles. It, Chris. That's true. You gotta make new stickers. Um, TC's Life said, do you think the olive oil would be better in a savory flavor? Um, probably. Caden Fox is, mm -hmm. he's actually trying out keto chow, excuse me, keto chow with, um, extra virgin olive oil, and, but he's this. using taco sure. and he actually likes it quite a lot. I think after this experiment, I'm not going to be able to stand the taste of olive oil for several years. So, so if you don't want to like something, just eat it only forever, and <laughs> yeah. then you'll never eat it again. That's right. Mike says, "Yeah, I lost a couple pounds of, uh, on eggs, but I got sick of eggs. Mm, Two days max." Yeah. Whether's Wendy says, "How did you not reveal the lemon earlier in the stream? That's such big news." Well, such we restraint. literally we literally got it today, so we've it only was, had it for half. The it day. was like. Two o'clock. Two, maybe even three o'clock. So like we were on a call and... at the time. Yeah. And like the guy came up and he's like, Knocking "Hey, on the door. we got lemon." He's like, "Do you want me to taste it?" I'm like, "Right this yes. second." Will you please? Because I can't. I can't. Do it. I can't do the quality control right now because I'm only eating chocolate keto chow. And um, I'm only eating not dairy. <laughs> We're so helpful. There you go. Uh, TC's Life says, I'll try it and let you know. Yeah. Uh, Heather says, well, unless it it, it it tastes like peanut butter. Unless it is peanut butter. <laughs> oh, yes. Not until uh, Christmas, Heather. Hungry He says, Rhonda, you make them as normally would, and then you slice it into the type of fries that you like, then finish it in an air fryer. Oh, Ooh, nice. Nice. Um, There you go. Hey, I'm actually caught up on on uh comments Good job, did honey. carrie did you go away yeah heather she says went oops away. <laughs> so See? yes so in case you missed it 
Lemon meringue, big bags, big bags, in stock. Big bags. Right now. By my face. Oh, that's funny. Amanda says, my hubby started stealing my shakes after seeing me lose 24 pounds <gasps> yeah. in just over a month. I had to start ordering in bulk. So nice. that... that you got him on the wagon. That brings me to a, a, a funny question. Um, on the Keto Chow Facebook... What? I, I didn't put on lipstick today. Yeah, either. gosh. Um, Brenda on the Keto Chow Facebook support group says... Have you ever accidentally referred somebody to Keto Chow? <laughs> she meant to send an email. I didn't skip like Joe does. <laughs> you, you, you be quiet, Joe. I mean, hungry. Anyway, she's, she meant to send an email to her friend with um, her link in the... Uh... Oh, by the way, Carrie, big bags. I need a lemon big bag. That The empty one is for you. Yeah. Um, cause we're going to mail a bunch of empty big bags so that you can take photos of them. It's um, on its way already. But anyway, on the Keto Chow, uh, rewards program page. Let's see. Let me go whoa, to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do, 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 do. Are you sharing? I am. Welcome, Chris. Ooh, whoa. There we go. Um, one of the things on earn rewards, That's one so of the things tiny. you can do is, um, refer a friend. So anyway, you go to the rewards program, you log into your account, and you click on earn points. And one of the things is to refer a friend. And it gives you a special link mm -hmm. that you can give to a friend. And the first time they make a purchase on the Keto Chow website, it will give you a uh, it'll give you 2,000 reward mm -hmm. points. And you can use the different reward points. Well, that's essentially... That's a ten dollar off coupon. Oh, that's nice. It's two thousand points. So I've had I've looked at reward programs for other companies, and I have a hard time finding where to find the refer friend. So like I key or texted it to me, but okay. then it's like three weeks later, and I can't find it again. So I really like that you can just log in and find it there. Yeah. So I'm gonna log into my Juan Paco Pedro Lelamar. Welcome, Juan. Es mi nombre sí. You. Juan doesn't have any points. Yo me voy, oh, see, it looks soy. different now. Juan Paco Pedro de la Mar. La, 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 la. Anyway, so yeah, you can purchase on the website. You can follow us on Twitter, share on Twitter, share on Facebook. When you create an account, it gives you 400 points. Nice. Most of the time, you're purchasing or referring a friend. Um, but yeah. We... So I have a question. Mm, what? Do you have to click on that when you're making a purchase? No. It'll will it just when you're making a purchase. Yeah, will it this is actually not clicking. Do you have a program or something? If you're logged into an account on the Keto Chow site, okay, you already have a rewards account. Okay, already. Now, if you made a purchase and then like you go, oh, you guys got a rewards reward? What the heck? We can fix that for okay. you and credit it. But um, but it's not like you have two account. You have a rewards account and a Keto Chow account. Yes, They're just it's the one same and the thing. same. Yeah. Okay. And, but make sure that people are using this. If you just send them a, hey, check out Keto Chow, it's You're not, not the quite points. the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one other thing I wanted to talk about um, when we're talking about rewards points. Um, our good friend Karen was having some problems um, using her rewards points. Because when you do the, the rewards points, when you spend them, it gives you a special coupon code. Oh, okay. That's your coupon code. It's, it's just yours. The key thing is you have to put it in the shopping cart page. You can't put it on the checkout page. Which is funny because there's where a the spot payment for is. it. There is a spot for That's it. That's why it's confusing. And the, and the reason why you have to put it on that page is, let's say you're doing the flavor of the week, which is banana. Mm -hmm. You get a 10% off discount. And that actually comes through as a coupon code, as a, a special coupon code. That, That's built in. Yeah. If you put your rewards point code into the checkout page where the payment and address and stuff is, it will blow away any other discounts you're getting. So you have to put it into this page. And then you can have both discounts. Yeah, it actually combines your other code into, it, it like conglomerates together the coupon mm -hmm. codes. So... I wish we're, we were as cool as Kohl's and you could just stack all the things, but you yep. can't. So, and if, if, say, for instance, you are using Carrie Brown's link 
or the Two Crazy Ketos link that gives you a 10% off discount. Yeah. That discount does still work in conjunction with a rewards um, coupon. Mm -hmm. You just got to make sure you put it into the right spot. And is that the first spot or the second spot? First spot. The first spot that says cart. Yeah, so on the shopping cart where okay. it shows you the list of so all the stuff. Is that where you put Carrie Brown or is that... No, so the, you use Carrie Brown's link that brings you over. Yeah, and the, right. the Two Crazy Ketos link, the Carrie Brown link, those don't have a coupon code. They're just linked it and only it works will give with the you link. a discount built in. That's correct. So you come over from Carrie Brown on the link and then you type in your rewards code into the cart section then they'll be able to be on top yeah, of each other. That's correct. Great. So you'll get the 10% off for using Carrie Brown's link or Joe's link. And then you can also get the disc, either the discount for the rewards program, or we also have a military and first responders discount code that yeah, also that also works. stack. Yes. Uh, let's see. Parrot Arne says, we have a local bacon fest, tons of bacon treats <gasps> to buy. What? I've never done the baking in contents because once... They use poor bacon quality, mm. and two, I don't want to hate bacon. Yeah, I could <laughs> see that. Paula says chocolate is a bomb with heavy whipping cream and cold brew coffee, and that was one of the things um, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to not hate any of the flavors, and I knew that I could do chocolate, uh, chocolate for that mm-hmm. one. Forever and never and ever. Yep. Uh, Mike says I think I'm going to eat bacon for dinner. Uh, oh, Brandon I have says bacon for dinner. I purposely refer people. Oh, anyway, so she sent. She meant to send her friend. An email yes. with the link. She she mistyped it and sent a complete stranger the the link. <laughs> and she said the person said, "Oh, this is actually kind of cool." And so now she's checking out Keto Chow. <laughs> nice. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Carrie Brown says because That's you're awesome. Funny. Oh uh, Heather likes the rewards program. She thinks it's awesome. Mike says I'm trying to get my points to two hundred dollars off. I don't even know why I added the two hundred dollars off. It's you just like it okay, keep Mike on adding. You to, yeah. That's why. Um, Shauna says, is the 2KK discount link still working? Yes, yeah, it, is. it is. Mary says, can the shakes be used between meals as snacks instead of an entire meal replacement? I love to drink them throughout the day. You know, like when I'm hungry, but not really, really re- ready for a full meal. So they're not designed for that. Um, if your meals are smaller and then the macros add up, then you can. Mm-hmm. The, but one thing about keto is... You're trying to keep your blood sugar stable. And, and your ev- insulin down. And and every time you eat, it goes up a little bit, even if you just eat really low-carb things. Mm-hmm. And so the less you eat, the more stable the blood glucose is going to yeah. be. So to answer your question, you could use keto chow mm-hmm. with less fat mm-hmm. in between meals as a snack. Would I recommend doing that? Absolutely not. I would actually recommend doing larger meals together, fewer times a day. So the and Dr. Jason Fung is one of the best people to get information about this. Um, the notion that we should eat six small meals a day is not based on any science at all. It's based off of marketing from snack companies. You don't need to snack. In fact, you're better off if you don't. And I would have less fat on my neck if I didn't snack. So this is me preaching to myself here. Yeah. Don't snack. And the thing is, like, depending on how long you've been doing keto, Mm -hmm. it's kind of a, you get further and further into keto and you start doing, you know, more things like narrowing your eating window and doing things like that. If you're just starting and you feel like you need to have a Snickers bar, for heaven's sake, have a keto chow as a snack with no fat. Yeah. Like, that's okay. Um, don't beat yourself up and still remember that you can be successful and use these things as tools as you need. My friends say I'm a tool. Uh, Weathers, when they said I got my office manager and her husband on the keto chow bandwagon, she's Yay. loving it too. Oh, Mike so says happy. he does zero to three keto chows a day. Seriously, on average, too. But my wife also does the same. And my son and grandson drink them, sometimes too. And my wife gives hers that are blended with ice to, to, to two other people we Aww, use a lot <laughs> they're so great. um let's see heather x says i've never been able to stack with the GovX discount you have to make sure that you have to put it in the first section yeah and 
And you can't use any other discount code. So you can't use... So if you did the Two Crazy Ketos link. and the GovX... The Two Crazy Ketos discount link. Link. Yeah, that's separate. what I'm saying. Yeah. So you could so do So you those. could do both of those. Yes. But then you couldn't use a reward and a GovX. You cannot use a reward it's discount code and the GovX. So but you could use the... Yeah, that's... That's kind of a bummer that you can't use two coupons at once. Okay. Amy, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. Um, Sonny says, I'm over halfway to the 200 off coupon. Mike says, thank you for this $200 off. You made that button just for me. Yeah, mm, Yeah, I told you. So Amy was just wondering if we, if she could use two coupon codes for the rewards. You cannot. Yeah, you, you, you can only use... That's actually why Mike wanted a $200 off mm -hmm. coupon code. And I was like... You can't stack okay, them. whatever, dude. <laughs> we really could, if you wanted to, ride to us. We could fix it. Yeah. So, and our customer service team are happy to help you guys with stuff like yep. that. We have a great team. They're so amazing. You just have to be patient yep. because they may not be there right the second. So, Warmax says, I'd like to do alternate day fasting with pure keto chow. Is it possible to do it on a refeed on three times a day? 3x keto chow plus whipping cream. Hmm. That is a really good question. In So if you're doing alternate day fasting with regular food, you could say, um, if you pop all that stuff into chronometer and get the amount of uh, protein and vitamins and minerals that you're typically eating, mm -hmm. try to do the same thing with three things of keto chow and see if you need to add additional protein. Yeah, you might need more protein. You're probably going to need more protein. Um just because you're kind of doing two days worth of nutrients in one day. So Well, and I would supplement with electrolytes on the day you're fasting. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. That that actually is a really good question. Um if I'm doing three keto chows a day, I don't feel like I really need to do alternate day fasting. But give it a try and tell us how yeah. it goes. Because I don't see why it wouldn't work. Mm-hmm. Mike says, there's a lot of things we do based on fake science. There were a lot True of that. published papers mm -hmm. that were later retracted because they were not based on any science whatsoever of any kind. Uh, Victoria says, there's a $200 off coupon. There is in the rewards program. Yes. And it will actually generate a specific code that is just for you. Yep, it's associated it with your email once. address. Did you already say that? Um, no, I didn't. So if you take your rewards coupon, rewards coupon and you try to give it to Mike, he can't oh, use no. it. You, you, he can. No, he can't. Yes, he can. It's associated with your email. No, it's not. What? It's not. Don't give it to Mike. He has enough points. Yeah, don't give it to Mike. Well, <laughs> this came up because one of our friends had bought a lot of keto chow and wanted to give her rewards coupon to someone else. And, oh, and it you know absolutely what? I'm thinking worked. of something else. Yeah. Um, Mary says, thanks a bunch, you, but you got my point. <laughs> I just need to stop the snacking. Hey, I will support you on that no snacking if you want to check in with me. There you go. Uh, Mike says, yes, it took me a while to realize I could drink keto chow as a snack. <laughs> Heather, Heather says, yes, we do have an awesome team. Oh, thanks, Heather. Mike says, I'm letting it ride. All my chips are in. <laughs> Matreya says, I like the idea of a stack coupon, but business-wise, it's not good practice. Actually, it's not about business-wise. It's functionality it of the is. website. It's difficult. So check this because out. Because we, we could stack some before. There were some other ones that we could stack. stack. Nobody wants to read that. It's so boring. Guess what? Here you ha Look, here we have people back in 2018. Is there a way to stack discount coupons in Shopify? No, there is not. Um... There are some apps that can do it, but it doesn't work with shipping, and there's blah, blah, blah. All these other different problems, so. I told you it was boring. <laughs> blah, blah, nerd, nerd, nerd. Nerd, nerd. Anthony says, you can just, you, you can just need to boost the fat. That's true. Um, Mary says, Mike, if I eat bigger meals, maybe I won't feel the need yeah. to snack on keto chow. That's and true. that's an important point. Also, keep yourself busy if you feel like you're having a hard time not snacking. Or try to do, you know, those different experiments, like how I'm doing the no dairy, no nuts. I am not snacking because I can't eat anything. Because there's, <laughs> like, every keto All the treat snacks that we have, have has milk protein in or it. Or nuts. Every, yeah. or nuts. And so I'm like, oh, that has nuts and stuff. I actually bought myself some Chalk Zero little dark chocolate pumpkins because that's the only thing I can eat. 
Oh, those is, those don't have dairy or nuts? That's correct. They don't have peanuts in them? They're dark chocolate. That's it. Oh, Just they are dark solid chocolate. Jo- oh, I thought they had I thought they had peanut butter in them. I wish they them. had peanut butter. I'm actually a lot less enthusiastic about them now that I know that they don't have peanut butter in them. They know, uh, they Sean know. says, and you have the best shipping pirates or yes. pirate shippers, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, Heather says, Miriam is a great accountability Oh, partner. yes. Uh, Amanda t- took her blender bottle to work last week and was bragging about the snickerdoodle. Walked in today and a coworker was drinking hers. <laughs> Missed the chance to use my referral Dang code. But well, she, you can still give it to her. Yeah. Well, they have to have it has oh, to be their the first, first purchase. purchase. That's Dang. correct. Um, Joe says I have rewards coupons that I want to give away. I redeem points for a coupon and I can't find it in my email. Oh, if, we can find it for you. Here's the thing: if you ba, 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 go oh, to your, there go, we go. Can you go to your rewards program and find it? Yes. Let's what? see. My account. No, I want to drink a water. Do I have to hold this forever? If I hold it right here, it'll cover my double chin. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is Come that on. Can, are you sharing the screen? I am, but it's not loading the page. Oh, it's still. Anyway, in the rewards program um, thing, I if I remember correctly, it shows you. Of course, it's not going to load now. Of course. Anyway, it shows you any coupon codes that you've redeemed, and if you can't find them there if you email our support people they can well, see we can see it what you redeemed it for so when you redeemed it for it you if it's been used again. and what the code is so if you can't find it in your email yeah. you can just search your email for keto chow rewards and see if that comes up mike says welcome to the technical portion of today tonight's boring live. boring <laughs> Keto dan says i always make one extra keto chow to keep in the fridge um, every time I feel like I need something extra sweet, I take a few swigs and I'm good. Yeah, and see, that's the kind of snack that if it's going to prevent you from do it, from eating something else or going to get some fries or something like that, then by all means do that. Okay. Um, yes, okay. I'm sorry. I, I was going to say something else, but anyway. Uh, Shia says, we'll send a me- message to have you check the rewards plus 2KK link didn't work with 1121 bag, but did go through with chocolate toffee. Oh. That's interesting. We'll um, have to figure that out. That is strange. You know what? We just barely put the lemon in, so it's possible that we need to fix something. Nerd, nerd, nerd. No, that should still work. Well, the 2KK link, yeah, it might not work with the uh, lemon meringue. Give me a second. I'm He's going gonna to troubleshoot online live. I'm going to do live. Okay. Well, in I the talk meantime, about something else. Um, so some uh, one of the people on the Facebook support group was having issues making chaffles with the with like um, the taco. So what's the best way you found to make chaffles? Um, well, the thing that is funny about keto chow is you have to mix the, the heck out of it to just get it to um, mix really well. And I use like a rubber, a fat hard rubber spatula, and I just mix it really hard. You can use a mixer. I'm just too lazy to get mm-hmm. my mixer out. Um, but what I found is if I do, I can't, I put the keto chow in very last because if I put it in first and then crack all the eggs forever, then it'll get clumpy. So I have to put the keto chow in last and then I just mix the heck out of it so I don't get clumps. Yeah. So, and you can always add a little bit of water in if you want to, or heavy cream or whatever to thin it out a little bit. If you want it thinner or if you want it thicker, add more cheese. So... I don't remember what the question was. Um, making chaffles with the savory flavors. Oh, yes. I love the savory flavor chaffles, though, because they're so much like just bread. Yep. And it's just like that hint of flavor in the chaffles. <laughs> did you um, fix it? I did. Joe says, oh, I don't taste job. the pumpkin in the chalk zero. Yes, they do have a little bit of pumpkin in there. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't taste it either. Uh, Mary says, Keto Dana, yeah, that's exactly what I've been doing. Um, Sean says, woohoo, live tech support. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's funny. So we have a marketing team that's been helping us for a few years. And the guy and, and we're just chatting today. And yeah. he's like, oh, well, you should do this with the website. And Chris is like, yeah, okay, like, refresh and see what that looks like. like. I'm like, okay, so I'm going in here. I got the banana. All right, so I'll bring up the banana. And he's, and he's like, well, we should put a thing that says, that talks about, you know, how much you're saving by getting the 21 meal bulk bag instead of the individual samples. Yeah. I was like, if you got 21 samples, okay. it would be almost $30 more to get 21 samples yep. than just the 21 scoop bag. So I added that. 
And then while we're on there, I also made these turn red. Oh, I like that. I like that. When you mouse over better. them. And then these right here. Oh, they're pink. I like pink. Yeah, they. And so when you, you know, it's it, it was a change that we made in the shopping cart that it, now um, the flavors are first and foremost. So you find the flavor that you want. Mm -hmm. Like in this case, lemon ring. And then you can choose the size that you want. Whereas before we had the size together, so all the big bulk bags, and then you could choose the flavor that yes. you want. We're trying to put the flavors first. But then once you've added it to your cart, thank you. Oh, there we go. Um, so you oh, can, then you can scroll down to go to the sweet flavors or the yeah. savory flavors. And so and like, then you can I select want? Uh, I want pistachio because that's delicious. Um, Speaking of pistachio, how many do we have left? Uh, we have, I think, 8,000 or 9,000. Where is it? It's in oh, the it's, limited edition. That's such a giant gold thing I couldn't see. Yep. Oh, I guess I can move lemon off of there. Yeah, because it's not limited anymore. There you go. See, it still Although says Although we don't have any samples. Yeah, we don't have any samples left of the lemon, which is why it says sold Zero. Out. Yep. Okay. Zero. Anyway, so yeah, I was doing the... I was changing stuff on the website while we were talking and... He thought that was funny. Anyway, uh, Hungry Heath says, Miriam, since peanuts aren't actually true nut, they're legume, can you eat them? I can if I choose to. You choose not to. But I'm not going <laughs> Joe to. says, Rachel hates it when I do that. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think I'll go off dairy and nuts forever, but I've just got to get things moving. I've got to feel successful, and I've been doing great. I've come down 15 pounds since I went off dairy and nuts. What the freaking cow? That's I amazing. I honestly think it's mostly snacking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would agree with you on that. Because I don't really think I'm doing it. And then I'm like, oh, a piece of cheese. Oh, a piece of cheese. Oh, a handful of nuts. Yeah. And then I don't really count it in my meal. And I'm like, that's so dumb. So, yeah. Missy wants to know, better. can you use the 2KK discount link more than once? Yes, you yes, can. Yes, you can. Yep. yep. You can even alternate between... Carrie Browns and, <laughs> and Keto Crazy Village, Ketos. Yeah. And watch Autumns. Keto Dan says, I'm making an order next week, so I'm glad now I can put lemon in my rotation. Nice. Now, you can't get lemon in the subscriptions because we don't oh, have enough stuff yes. set up for that. And we haven't decided whether we're if going we're to make it a seasonal it subscription. Yeah, it's, it's, we're going to it's keep it in stock. We're planning on keeping it in stock through next summer at least. Mm hmm. We'll see how it sells. How many did we get? Um, the order was for 5,000. I don't know how many showed up. Somebody said like 11 pallets or something. Okay. I don't remember. Mike says, welcome to the math section of tonight's live. Um, Keto Dana says, do you get rewards points when you sign up for the subscriptions? Yes, you do. Yes, but as your subscriptions go, you keep earning rewards, but you can't use the rewards on, on the, the subscription. Yeah, so that's kind of annoying. But the nice thing about that is you can save your rewards up and then use it on something else. And then you could stack those two coupons. So you'll have your subscription going on. Like say you want chocolate as a subscription. Then Lemon Meringue comes in. You use the rewards points that you've got from the chocolate on the lemon ring. Yep. And then you can have a coupon. And speaking of changes to the site, if you've been on the, the Keto Chow site for a mm -hmm. while, you may have noticed that the top bar has changed. Mm -hmm. um, now you've got this shop and it's you've got sweet flavors, savory flavors, limited edition, chow bundles. Chow bundles. And chow subscriptions. In the chow subscription is where you can... Oh, look at that cute picture. Yeah. So you can uh, select which flavor you want to get. Whoop. And of course, you have to wait for the page and to finish flips loading. it up weirdly. Anyway, so you can choose, say, Snickerdoodle. And hey, instead of 70 bucks, it's 63 And then you just click Add Subscription. Add Subscription. And then can it you change um, from here? Can you change the... Oh, it says Delivery Every Four Weeks. I see it. Yes. It's right there. So you can change... And it defaults to every four weeks. Yeah, but you can change... And it's actually... It. Okay, it's out of order. Yes, 4216. Four, That's exactly how we count at Keto Chow. It's because it defaults to whatever is at the top. Which and would that's be the one, most two, likely. four, six. So we changed it. Now, to here's four. the thing. Once you've created a, sh a subscription, you can actually go in and change it to whatever yeah, You could do day interval. increments. You could do week whatever. or month. Mm -hmm. You could do it every 67 days, every three weeks, or every two months if you wanted to. It's really up to you to do whatever you want. So, yep. um, there are some that are not available on subscription. The seasonal flavors are not, yep. um, but there's still a lot on subscription. 
Heather says, where did you go? I don't know. We're right here. Uh-oh. Maybe we're not right here. I don't know. Um, Perhidernais is seeing a frowny face. Uh, Weathers Money says, flavor forward, lead with your strength. I like it. Yeah. And that's one of the things when we, um, when we've done, like, asked our, our customers what they like the most. And in the, the comments on the ads, the flavors, the taste, the amazing texture, that is the, the thing that resonates most mm-hmm. with people. And so we're actually, we're, we're stepping away from calling it a shake and yep. calling it a complete keto yes, meal. It it's a meal. So, um, I don't know what to do with this bag. Should I hold it for the rest of my life? Yeah. It says that the video is still going. I don't know. Well, and Keto Dana says, will you still do lemon samples? Um, yes. Those aren't in stock yet. They t- the samples take oh. a considerable more time to uh, get going than the other ones. Does anybody else say this? Oh. Um, oh, Keto Dana says, yes, video is playing. Try um, exiting out and coming back. Okay. Lori says, way to go. Snacking is hard to quit. It is so hard. And um, it's so emotional. Exiting out and coming back. Okay. Yeah, Lori totally says, working. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> with a delay. It's We're so a delay fish. Deli- Shh. Stop talking. Shh. Uh, Mike <laughs> says, I tried to cut back on snacks with an egg fast. I've snacked almost none. Hey, Yay. there you go. Um, let's see, Parahirne, yeah, they went, they left and come back. Yay. Uh, Matreya says, I, mm, I haven't used Carrie's link yet. Today's a good day. Uh, TC's Life says, I have trouble snacking between 7 and 9 p.m. Yeah. Do you know what Miriam's recommendation for that Take is? Take a bath. Take a bath. I knew you were going to say that. I always say that. <laughs> um, Anthony or says. Or go on a walk. Uh, Anthony says, subscribe plus two crazy ketos. So the subs the... Um, discount links do not work with subscriptions. Yes. The subscriptions actually live in their own little world. But they are 10% off, which is They're usually 10% the same off anyway. thing as the other ones. Yep. So, yeah, what you do is work the system. Get, it to, get the 10% off subscription and then use the link and your rewards points for separate purchases yep. like this. Or your eggnog yeah. or your Ripper float in the summertime. Yeah. Or the ones that you can't get on. So Heather says she likes the changes. Parahit Renee says oh, thanks, Chowabunga. Heather. Mike says Chow subscriptions. Chow well, subscriptions. And that's one of the things is um, the, this lady who is doing consulting she's with us. us. It's, she's like, she's amazing. She's like, oh my gosh. Okay, Chow is weird. She's like, you either got to get rid of it or just or embrace play it. it. And just, so we're going to play with it. Yep. Chow it up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> Shauna says, yay, 2KK discount and $15 reward gets me lemon meringue for about 155 ish And Shauna says, Chris on the fly tech pays off. You know what? When we, mm-hmm. what was it that we did? We introduced something. And I think it was the, I think it was the pistachio or something like that. And, um, like I was, Joe was chatting with me like during the live stream. Oh, yeah. and I was like fixing stuff, yeah. and he's like, "Sorry for bugging you." I'm like, "Dude, this Thank would have taken you. me hours to realize <laughs> that there was a problem." Oh. Thank you for helping me get it fixed. Which so. is, of course, harder to do it on the fly, but sometimes you just gotta fix problems when they're there. So That's we right. really appreciate your feedback, and if there's something Instant wonky, feedback. please tell us so that we can fix it. Because we want feedback, to fix feedback, it. Feedback. 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 Uh, Mike says you can base on Enhance. the motorcycle. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> um, for my boys said had to log off and log Four back in boys. again. Four boys. <laughs> Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Are you sure it's plugged in? <laughs> Carlos says I feel like eating something that is, uh, that is a snack or sweet. I've started eating it with my meal instead of in between. Oh, I've done that too. And it is amazing how much you don't need those yes. things. Because when I look at my bacon and eggs and stuff for dinner, and then I'm all like having my protein bar with it, I'm like, I don't really need you. I would rather have another egg. Or I would rather have another blah, 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 or a piece of lasagna or something. Heather says, it's not a shake, it's ice cream. That's right. There you go. Keto chow is ice cream. Chow cream. Matre says it looks good. Uh, Carla says, it works better not to raise my blood sugar and insulin. Although she said BS. <laughs> <laughs> Did just the same thing happened to me. Uh, Virginia <laughs> said... Hi, how much tomato is in the tomato soup? That's oh, a very yes, good question. Oh, yes, there is tomato in the tomato soup. Um, is it I think it's, no, it's six grams of powdered tomato, mm-hmm. 
which was a difficult decision to make because every gram yes. of tomato has a counts. half gram of glucose. So in it. it's not really as tomatoey as I would like, and mm -hmm. I don't really love tomato soup anyway. But it doesn't really taste that tomato soup to me. So if you want, make the two crazy ketos chili with the beef base because it'll still be good. I, I like the tomato uh, keto, two crazy ketos chili with the tomato. Yeah, but and, she's saying tomato bothers her arthritis. Oh, okay. Sorry. So I read forgot, words, but... and then you'll Mary know what we're words good. About. Uh, we do have a friend who is is allergic to tomato, mm -hmm. and we found out for her that the spicy taco does have traces of tomato in it. Yeah. So both the tomato and the spicy mm -hmm. taco have tomato in them, but the beef does not. And it'll do yep. the same thing. So the an entire serving of the taco has probably about a tenth of a gram of tomato mm -hmm. in yeah, it. Yeah, it's very small. Um, but it's, yeah, it is still there if you are allergic to nightshades. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike says, I feel like snacking. Feel like snacking, drink a big glass yeah, of water. Yeah, Yeah, if you feel like snacking. Or, like, make yourself... Uh, ice like i have the little ice shaver mm -hmm. with some soda in it or like a flavored drink you know if you feel like you want to eat eat some like eat that like ice cream but it's not ice and then there's also what we like to do warm is the real salt the real um oh the save, seasoned the seasoned salt. salt warm it up in the microwave mm -hmm. and then it's like no calories whatsoever and it just gets you salt so those are two different things that you can do when you feel like eating something like yeah. going through the motions plus the hot water the, it makes you yeah kind of the do hot it water slow. makes you kind of be slow and, mm -hmm. and methodical about it and then like the cold ice chips or whatever it would make uh, makes you feel like you're eating and then it it satisfies that i need that break moment so mike said the chousters are in the house Chousters um, in the house Her says, i've heard i've heard from a few mm -hmm. folks that my bs levels can be a <laughs> Um, male, bevine, male bovine fecal matter. That's there you something go. that Peter Ballard Peter Ballard says this every time. Um, Saskia said, mm. I forgot it was Tuesday. Hashtag fail. Dang it. Well. Oh, Saskia. Look yeah. what I got for you. What the heck? 21 mil. What does it say on the bottom? Secret message panel says, don't cry over spilled milk. Cry over spilled keto chow. Oh. Joe, Joe Stopper. Stopper. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you can't read the signs very good, though. Aww. Did anybody know that was going to be on the bottom? No, because nobody's seen it but, but us. <laughs> Did Joe even know it was going to be on the look, bottom? look. You are right here. I said, hey, Joe, give me some funny things. <laughs> anyway, um, now For My Boys has a good question. Have you heard of doing intermittent fasting and using keto chow? It's For My Boys, so, Anthony. I don't know. Um, so... Intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding, the simplest way to think of it is you forget to eat breakfast and you just eat, eat later. I totally did that today. Um, and I did it on Monday, not out of choice. On Monday, I ate breakfast oh at gosh, 3. Oh my gosh, guys. He's so ornery. I ate it was awful. lunch at <laughs> 4. I ate dinner at 5. I did three meals of keto chow spaced out by an hour because of difficulties getting my blood tests. You had to go to two different places or three different places? Two different places, but I had to go back into the second place three times. And then there was this lady complaining the whole time. I've been waiting for 45 you're minutes. you're like, I've been waiting for three, three hours. hours. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, you can use keto chow with time-restricted feeding, intermittent fasting. It actually mm -hmm. works really well. Um, and it all depends on how you want to do it. But yeah, the simplest way to do intermittent fasting is, and we were talking about this a bit earlier, um, it's actually better to eat bigger meals with a longer time in between them. And so if you eat like a big dinner and you just, you're like, eh, I'm not going to eat when you wake up in the morning mm -hmm. or even better. This is something that um, some people like to do. They'll eat a huge breakfast. Lunch comes around. They're like, eh. And then they're just like, dinner comes around. They're like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've done that when we go to Buffalo Wild Wings. It's like, yeah, why am I going to eat for the rest of the day? Um, Joe wants to know, are discount links working with the flavor of the week again? That's an important point. So the thing that you that powers the discount links that Two Crazy Ketos and um, Carrie Brown and them have 
is actually using the same system that's now powering the flavor of the week. And the reason for that is, switch to my desktop here. So on the 21 meal subscriptions, you can see how it's got the, well, now the price is 63, the price used to be 70. The way that we used to do the flavor of the week is we would actually go in and change the price. There it is. And so you would have, say, it would show that the price used to be 70 mm -hmm. with a slash through it, but now the price is 63. So now it says it down. The problem the is on every flavor that wasn't the flavor of the week, it would say 70 with a slash through it and then 70 because it's all using the same template. Yeah, so it looks weird. It looked really <laughs> weird. So the, the the fix for it was we would put we would use the same discount um, engine to do the flavor of the week. And hey, look, we've got this discount 10% added because it's the flavor of the week. Um, let's close that. And when you go into your cart, it shows you the discount. Oh, look, you got a subscription. I Good do job. have a subscription, For but I'm going to take that out. Oh. Um, so it actually, it's very verbose in what's... Well, look, it says say $7 right there. That's mm -hmm. nice. Because it's the flavor of the week. Mm -hmm. Um Anyway, and if I add um, a couple more bags, um, it will add another discount. But the problem is the the link discount that you get from the two crazy ketos is the same. It 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 conflicts. It it you can't get the flavor of the week one at the same time as the two crazy ketos discount because. It actually looks through all the discounts you're getting and says, hey, what discount is the best discount that we can possibly okay, okay. give you? And it will give you whatever that discount so if is. So what you're saying is if we gave Joe and Rachel a better discount, that would win. It would. Um, so is this the, the place where you would put the discount code for the, the WebEx? Yes. Right there. So yeah, scroll the... up a little bit and see. It, should, it says cart. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. So it says cart. And that's where you'd put it in, and then those would be able to stack. But the, yes, the you, influencer discounts. If you go out. to checkout, and it does the little hokey pokey. Mm -hmm. See this funny coupon code here? Yeah, because that's the one. Which this I've is seen all that my discounts put together. Other people's checkouts too, mm -hmm. and that's mine is twenty one dollars. That's like a good well, discount. It's, it's because this is interesting. It is stacking discounts. So it's, it's giving me a five percent discount. For, for ordering bags. four bags. Okay. And it's giving me 10% off the uh, flavor of the week. Twice, though. Yeah. So I'm saving 14 bucks because of that. That's, like, great. And I'm saving 7 bucks on the two of these. Now, it's only doing whichever discount is the biggest. So there's a 10% discount on the banana flavor of the week. Mm-hmm. There's a five percent discount on so the lemon. So it's not ring. actually giving you seven dollars off. So it's well, lemon's getting seven dollars off because I ordered four of them. Okay. But it's not giving me ten dollars. I mean, ten percent off and five percent off on the banana. Well, it looks like it is though. It's just giving me ten percent off. Oh, I see. I see. So because 140. the banana would be on this sale. Yeah. So okay. banana is the flavor of the week, so it's getting ten percent off. The lemon is getting five percent off. Now, if for instance I this if I was getting another flavor that wasn't the flavor of the week, yeah, it would just be five percent off. So it's a little it's a little tricky. I'm still trying sure. to figure out ways to get stuff to work. Mm. This is this is what I got so far. Um, Rachel says, "Hey, I tell my way out of a laundry pile." Yay! <laughs> I did laundry today too. Nice. And Shauna did laundry today, too. It's a laundry day. Uh, Mike said, I would rather have half a keto chow than a keto bar. Well, okay. Mm. Rachel likes your earrings. Oh, thank you. Um, Hunger, he says, what I find wonk is that my free COE. Not sure. I'm not sure what that uh, never works. Or my free Whatever code. Whatever it is. It yeah. never works. Matreya's taking off. Can't stay awake. Okay. <laughs> She's going to mix the chili up with half tomato and half spicy nice. taco. Nice. Uh, Rachel says that she loves ice. Also, Wawa ice. It's the best. 
Yeah. Anthony says moon cheese is my kryptonite. Apparently they're on sale at uh, Costco. It's oh, buy really? one, get one free. I haven't had moon cheese in forever. Yeah, I haven't my either. My kids would love those. We could get some for the office. We could, but we have um, lots of Bunker Hill cheese. That's um, true. Whether well, Wendy says Kyo Chow is yum trition. Yum trition. Saski says I was about to say that bag looked like a full one. Yes, it is. It does look like a full. It's Mike's, a full one. Yeah, Mike says, "Yay, nice." Oh. It's a celebrity quote. And it's not even full of the wrong stuff. It's this is legit lemon. Yep. Joseph, uh, Don says, "Joe, you're famous." Yes. <laughs> Rachel says, "We're so blown away. How sweet." Sean, uh, Sean says, "Okay." Saving my first lemon keto chow bag. There you go. And Rachel says, Joe is smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> so Saskia, adorable. Saskia says, speaking of number of meals, the other day you said, do not do four keto chows in a day, but Sharon actually explained why. I did. Oh, yes. But I'm happy to explain again. Um, three meals of keto chows. Saskia, he just likes to fight with you. No, that's... <laughs> I'm just com- combative. Um, which Miriam recently learned how to spell. Yeah. It's combative. Combative, not combative. Yes. I keep pronunciating it wrong. Enunciating it wrong? <laughs> um, anyway, so the reason why you would never want to do four meals of keto chow at a time is because each serving of keto chow is designed to give you a third of your daily nutrients. Or actually a little bit more of some of them where the U.S. dietary recommendations are way behind in the science. Um, I like to get a lot of the current science and put that into it. And that comes comes down to I use keto chow for most of my meals. And so I don't want I don't want to be malnourished. So I'm gonna put in the right amount. Anyway, there are several vitamins and minerals and stu- such in keto chow that if you have three of them, it's gonna be great. If you have four of them, it's not so great. Um Things like vitamin A, you don't want too much of that. Um, Mm -hmm. Iron, you don't want too much of it. And for that matter, the iron in keto chow is specifically Mm -hmm. the amount of iron that non-menstruating adults need. The reason for that is uh, somebody said, hey, you've got an awful lot of iron in this keto chow. I said, yeah, it's, it's the U.S. dietary recommendations. They said, that's too much for men. Or for postmenopausal women. I said, wait, what? Let's figure that out. And I researched it. And yes, the upper tolerable limit for iron is 40 milligrams a day. Mm -hmm. But at 18 milligrams a day, a man will slowly build up a toxic level of iron Mm -hmm. if they're consistently getting 18 milligrams a day. Does everybody do keto chow three meals a day? No. But I sometimes do, like right now, and I don't want to get Toxic the wrong stuff. Of iron, which is why men and women are different. We are. And different. they have different needs. Yep. So the takeaway is if you wanted to do three keto chows a day and you do have a regular menstrual cycle, you do have need to supplement iron. with iron. You can either eat a steak every once in a while, which is delicious. Mm-hmm. You can have some iron pills or take some desiccated iron yeah, pills. Yeah, like I that. don't take iron pills, I take the desiccated liver pills. Yeah. There are multiple different varieties of them. I thought you just eat a lot of red meat. I, yeah, I do mostly. <laughs> um, but I make my girls, because I have four daughters, and they all have a period. Yep. I make my girls do the desiccated liver pills, because the iron pills just don't work as good. Yeah, it doesn't the absorb as well. The liver pills work really well. There's something about Or liver. have liver, too. Yep. Okay, Iona says, I'm new to Keto Chat. I'm loving oh, it. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Patty says, I cried over Keto Chat today because I forgot to... Sp- no! Oh, Screw no! the lid down! Oh, Before I tried to shake it. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's the worst. That is the worst. Sad. Keto Chow tastes delicious. We had one Keto of Chow our employees terrible to um, clean up. carpet cleaning their office today because they spilled Keto Chow. Also. Are you serious? Yeah. Because when there's butter in there... On the carpet. Butter and carpets <laughs> don't mix. Dang, Sad. Is... I'm sorry, Patty. I feel <sighs> your pain. Mike says, I think it's so you don't go blind, but Chris can tell us using real science. Uh, Saskia says, I mean, he was really vehement about it. <laughs> but I'm just curious. Yeah. Vehement. Vehement? Yes. I. That's another one. Annihilate. And highly. Vehement. Vehement. <laughs> how, how do you pronounce these words? These these are the type of words that I read it's all so the time hard. and I never hear pronounced. Words are hard. <laughs> it's because no one can Speak pronounce hard. them. Speak um, hard. Yeah. 
Bridget says, what flavors are best with coffee? Um, a lot of people All like of chocolate. Them. Um, they like vanilla. They like chocolate toffee. A lot of people if like sa- salted caramel. That's true. That's true. Chocolate toffee. Oh, you said that. I haven't heard chocolate, a lot of people using banana mocha? with t- with. I coffee. don't know. Do you like banana coffee? Rachel will do it. Do it. Rachel will not do root beer with coffee, though. Root beer and coffee um, sounds gross. Jennifer says, you should get some moon cheese for the office. <laughs> I told you. I told she sits you at a desk surrounded by uh, Bunker Hill. Yes, but she doesn't eat it. Hungry he says, I'm a dummy. Dummy was supposed to be code. Well, Heath, if you have a problem with it, we will help you fix it. Absolutely. So let us know. If you've got a problem, yo. I'll solve it. Jen will solve it, actually. Yeah, Jen will solve uh, it. Parent Rene says, um, I've been doing no cheese, but just uh, to cut a bit. But I've been liking the spicy cashew queso that I found oh, in the chill vegan really? area in Walmart. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I think that's the that. one that Joe and Rachel found. At Walmart? Yeah. Okay, Renee, send me a picture so I can go look it up. Saskia says, that's okay. I work with teenagers. Same thing. Yeah, I live with teenagers. <laughs> um, and Shauna says, yeah, I agree. It was so fun visiting the warehouse. Oh, you missed Shauna's um, comment about Buffalo Wild Wings. That we oh, crap. Go. What did it say? She just said that she got to go to Buffalo Wild Wings for the first time with us. Oh, yes. So, like, my first week trip to Buffalo Wild and Wings. And Chris didn't even get to eat any. <laughs> I sat there and drank Diet Mountain Dew. Um, and went to the bathroom three times. <laughs> yeah. Mike <laughs> says, or drink keto chai daily minerals, I think. Yes. Tuskie yes. says, man, one week in a, in a month around your house must be rough. <laughs> Lauren says, wait, it, it, is the lemon ring big bag rough. here? Yes, yes Lauren, it is. I'm so glad you're here Look, to see Right it. down here, it's saying it. Lemon yes, meringue big bag. Yes, but I'm saying it too. Yes, you are. And it's real. It's full. Like, and George, look right here. Like snickerdoodle and coffee. Stoppers on there. You know, we need to get a Carrie Brown quote too. We probably should. And a yogi. We'll have to come up with new flavors and do those. Oh, uh, Rachel. Should. Rachel says she's going to do it. She's going to do it. Banana <laughs> coffee. Yes. Um, let's see. The Tigger says, it's very confusing to, to be seeing you on Facebook and hearing <laughs> comments that are not on Facebook. Yeah. So, well, and oh, he's on, yes. uh, or they are on mm-hmm. um, Twitch. So, yeah, it's because we actually have comments coming in from Facebook um, YouTube and Twitch, actually, mm-hmm. all at the same time. So that's why it's nice if we read the whole thing, because then yeah. people who aren't on that same platform know what the heck we're talking yeah. about. And we used to have the comment stream embedded in the video, but all we had to ha- do is have one troll. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? Who's Not mean. anymore. So we just... And I can actually really out. easily remove people's comments and ban them from the channel. So, yay! In case mean people, come on. <laughs> Rachel this says, doesn't happen very often. I think we're really lucky. Rachel says, no, the root beer flavor is like the meatloaf song. But I won't do that. <laughs> I won't do that. Hungry says, I just wanted free keto chow. But I fa- fail at spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Copy and paste, my friend. Uh, Lauren's got to go for now. Oh, Lauren. Bye for now. Um, George says, what are your favorite flavors of Buffalo Wild Wings? Chipotle barbecue. Chipotle barbecue is a winner with almost everyone Chipotle at our entire And house. I like it extra Chipotle barbecue-y mm-hmm. because they've been shirking, seriously, since COVID hit, they've been shirking on the yeah. on the stuff. Now, interestingly enough, if I get the um, the dry buffalo, mm-hmm. what is it? I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's the dry rub that's uh, like a spicy one that's the buffalo flavor. That makes the sides of my mouth Oh, hurt. yeah. The Chipotle barbecue doesn't. No. Nope. The mild wet sauce doesn't as well. So they've got a hot, medium, and mild. The hotter it is, the more pepper sauce that they're using, which actually translates to a bit more carbs. And it, so if you're using... And it's not the dry heat, Keto Dana. It's a different one. I think it's... The- what Dang it, I can't it? remember what it's called. We haven't gotten it in a long time. Um, one yeah. of our employees likes the... Oh, no, I can't remember. He likes the desert heat. Desert heat. heat. Yeah. Um, anyway, the yeah, the more mild it is, the more butter they use. And butter. Butter. Oh, keep on slumping. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we like that. We like the... Um, Parmesan, Parmesan garlic. Parmesan garlic. That's two carbs. The spicy garlic is also really good. Mm-hmm. Um, that, I think, has two carbs also. Yeah, um, some of, some of the people in our group like the salt and vinegar, and also the lemon pepper. The lemon pepper, pepper too, yeah. Um, but I tend to always just get chipotle barbecue and mild. I just get chipotle barbecue and I eat twelve. 
I've never Every time. eaten more. I think I've had 13 once. Yep. Because I just hit my fill. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Mike says there are some new ones like pizza. What the heck? I'll have to check that out. Heather says, now that Phil makes wings on the smoker, we don't get beat up. <laughs> oh, we have done wings here a couple of times. Anthony says, I get the blazing. There you go. The last um, set of wings we made were really good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Mike says, spice shirkers. Bunch of ninnies. I know. We're ninnies. Shauna says, I got the mild and garlic parmesan Chris told me to order. Yeah, because it's like, well, there you go. Uh, Mike says, trolls will be trolls. Yeah, and Heather says, one troll ru- rules. Ru- ruins Ruins it up for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jen really likes the garlic parmesan. So, I had a couple of questions. Um, well, uh, we've already... Well, okay, let's see. Say well again one more time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, <laughs> somebody wanted to know, can you mix different flavors of keto chow together, and what are some good combinations? Mm-hmm. Strawberry and banana. Strawberry and banana Chocolate is banana. Legit. Oh, peanut butter and peanut butter. <laughs> um, I strawberry. Bet peanut butter and strawberry would be good. Strawberry and banana is good as well. Well, some way. What's that weird one that Steve liked? Orange, orange and, banana? and banana. What the heck? He's know. like, it's tropical. It's delicious. How about pina colada? Oh, that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, we, we used we had a pina once. colada back in two thousand. I really like that one. Fifteen. 15. Ooh, yeah. that was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Mm. It was the we were getting it from a manufacturer. Ooh, they Sony, did you try strawberry and lemon? Strawberry that and lemon would probably good. be really good. Now, good. how do you mix them together? Though? So you could do half a scoop. Yeah, half a scoop and, and half one, a scoop. Or you can just do a scoop and a scoop, a scoop split and a in scoop half, and then split it in half. Um, you can also, for that matter, we had an earlier question about doing four shakes in a day. You can mix up three shakes. And split it however you want. You could split the three shakes into two. Mm-hmm. You could split the three shakes into four. You could do a scoop of strawberry, a scoop of banana, and a scoop of chocolate and make chocolate, banana, strawberry, and then split it into three if you wanted to. Lauren can't find the big bags of lemon. We show it to her. Yes. Okay. So anyway, that's that's how you can mix up stuff. Yes. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go to... Uh, we did change the website around a little bit, so it's kind of wonky. So you just got to... So you go to shop. Mm-hmm. Sweet flavors. Sweet, sweet flavors. Or if you happen to be on the homepage, uh, Keto Chow Meals, sweet flavors. That'll get it. And then you scroll, scroll, scroll. And then you think scroll, it's going to be that top one, but it's not. Uh, they're actually... I think right now they are alphabetical. Oh. So Lemon Meringue is right there. And there is the bulk. Oh, and the price is lowered because I have four bags in my shopping cart already. Oh. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So normally the price would be 70 but because I have four bags, big bags I in my see. shopping cart. So as long as you just make all those lemon, then you'll be good. Yeah. Right. Except you've got banana in there because... I do. Banana. And it says discount 5% added lemon rain keto chop. That's cool yeah. that you can see that. So what a cute little tag thing. There's, there's good things and there's bad things. Anyway. Um, Carrie Brown, it's 11 p.m. and I should just turn into a pumpkin. Aww, Goodbye. Bye, I love Carrie. You, Carrie. We actually probably need to Sleep finish tight. up. Let's see. Uh, I'll really quickly go through blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. all the different things that people say. Hungry Heath says, I marinate my wings in a mixture of pickle juice and jalapeno juice. What? What? That sounds really good. Uh, Heath, will you cook oh, for me man. already? Tanya had a good question. What is the main difference from your meal replacement shakes? Versus the There's three. A, there are ten quite a few shakes. differences. The three ten okay. shake is a protein shake. Is it a meal replacement shake? A three ten is a. I haven't tasted it. Have it's you tasted a it? protein shake. It is not a. Here's um, Chris's nerd meal nerd, nerd. replacement. So, up here at the top, you got keto chest designed to be nutritionally complete. Where you mm. eat three of them a day, you're getting complete nutrition. Are you sharing? I am sharing. You sure? Yep. So if you were to use keto chow with salted butter, um, it would cost you $11.41 to get 2,000 calories, um, and you'd be getting 1.7 net carbs. Woo! That's a okay. little carb meal. Let's scroll on down. This day. this spreadsheet, and I'll, put, I'll post the link, it has all of the meal re- This is like the, the shakes. thing ever. I've been putting this together for years. I, every time I find a new one, I add it to mm-hmm. it. 310 Nutrition, and this is sorted by the cost for 2,000 calories. 310 Nutrition is down here. So it's here. not like we think that they're bad and that's why we put them at the bottom. 
So I don't think they're bad. It costs sixty eight dollars to get twenty eight meals. Yep, which is more than ours. Actually, well, twenty one meals. Twenty one meals, but it's actually the cost per meal is lower. Mm-hmm. But what you're getting it's isn't not, the same. It's not a meal. So it's ninety grams of fat. It is not complete nutrition. You could the most you could have of these a day is one, and I wouldn't recommend more than maybe because three a week. why couldn't you have more than one? Well, because it would be replacing calories with non nutrition. Okay. So instead of having a steak that's full of vitamins and minerals, you're having just protein. Without the vitamins and minerals. It's it's a a bit like junk food. It's a protein shake that's designed to give you protein. And if you need more protein. So if you need more protein, you could do this. It is a protein supplement. Most of these are actually protein supplements. Some of them have um, MCT oil or things like Mm -hmm. that. Anyway, if you wanted 2,000 calories... Of the 310 Nutrition, it's going to cost you $53.97. Okay. And you'd be getting 44 grams of net carbs. Well, that's a lot of net carbs. So, also... But you may not be eating it for three yeah. meals a day. Now, the you might be eating it. The biggest as difference, and this is something we talked about earlier, the biggest difference between the 310 Shakes and Keto Chow is Keto Chow tastes like melted ice cream. Yeah. It has no grainy texture in it is delicious enough that I ate it for 100 days with nothing else. 310 Nutrition Shakes are, well, they're protein shakes. They taste like protein shakes, and that's what they are. So if you like them, and they are doing what you need them to, hey, you know what, that's great. Then use it. That's absolutely fine. Um, We're actually more concerned that you're doing keto and that you're having success with keto than what products you may or may not be We've always said from the beginning, we don't care if you use our stuff. We just want you to be successful. And we want to help with that if you need help. So Saskia says strawberry chocolate. Um, Jen likes chocolate peanut butter and banana. Mm. Um, Kendra likes chocolate orange. I still haven't ever done that. Oh, yeah. You know what? We have a couple of chocolate orange recipes on the website. Mike likes orange, banana, and strawberry with coconut oil is the fat what that sounds like a pina colada right there uh, mary says chocolate toffee and pumpkin spice Ooh. saskia says raspberry and lemon nice. oh Ooh, that, that does, does sound, sound good, good. Uh, nice uh george says if i used to get a fresh oj and banana blended all the time before keto no well, there you go carrie brown says it yeah she did well that's <laughs> she says it's oh, 11 it, p.m yeah. <laughs> um Paradrenace says Neapolitan Keto Chow. There you go. Yeah. Um Saskia says, just to make you repeat things more, any news on eggnog dates? We oh, actually did say that yes, earlier. Yes, we did talk about we that. We are think anticipating... that they're gonna be next week. That's correct. So there you go. Lauren says, Shop Sweet Scroll. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Jen says, bye Carrie. Um Janelle says, but it's early Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> it's actually Pacific Daylight right now. Yes. It will be Pacific. Sorry, this is this is one of my pet peeves. I hate daylight savings Pedantic. time. I hate daylight savings we time. We all hate daylight savings and time. It's so every thing. time someone says Pacific Standard Time, I'm like, it's not Pacific Standard Time right now. It's stupid Pacific Daylight Time. Mm. It will be Pacific Standard Time in a bit. You can just call it Pacific Time. That's what I usually refer to it as. Except I usually don't talk about Pacific time because Pacific people in the Pacific time zone are usually good about figuring out what I time was, it is. I was born over there. <laughs> Mike says, nothing says excitement like a good spreadsheet. Oh, I forgot Boring. to. Boring. Uh, I mean. I forgot to post the link. Hold there on. You go. There you go. In case you want it. Um, let's see. Bup, bup, bup. Wow. I just. Um, Paranormal says, Kyocha is just in a whole nother level. I've never seen any company strive to provide the quality and service like Miriam and Chris or at least just Miriam. I know the product has a science nutrition and is readily absorbed. Oh, you're so nice, Renee. Rachel says, whoa, I just realized Chris is wearing the greatest shirt ever. It's it's a, a Chef Chamois shirt. Yeah, we got it from Chef Chamois. Miriam I mean, went and got, toured I it. I went and toured the place. Yeah. I got to see the production and everything, and they gave me a whole bunch of butter. It was the best day ever. So uh, Keto Dan says, what, so what's the closest thing out there to Keto Chow? So in that spreadsheet, mm-hmm. I posted the link, um, the stuff at the top is closest to keto chow it's called ketogenesis um well ketogenesis is. is very close sated s-a-t-e-d not satan um mm-hmm. is reasonably close as far as the nutrition goes as far as the taste goes um 
last year, no, 2018, we actually uh, paid. Oh, 2018. Wow. We paid a company. No, it was 2019. It was January 2019. We paid a company to yeah to do a blind taste test, where we had five products. We had was it 50 people or 100 people? We had fifth. They came into a room. They had five oh my cups gosh, in it front was of them. So cool. And they drank it and wrote stuff down. And Keto Chow blew everyone out of the water. Yeah. Just flat it was out. so funny because you're literally we literally sat there for six hours watching people behind just... a mirror. <laughs> and we're like, oh, they're gonna try number three. And right, yeah. down and like, oh my gosh, they're gonna taste it. What do they think? I don't even know. And sometimes sometimes people were like Oh, with different ones. It was, <laughs> it was so really great. funny. It was the greatest thing ever because it was yeah. just, we just care so much about trying to make it be good yep. that it was so cool. And you can find Our the kids would have been anonymized of results of that, the entire results. Mm-hmm. We don't tell you who the competitors yeah, were. because we don't want to. Because we, I don't want to trash them. Mm-hmm. But 310 was not one of them. Because, yeah, they didn't exist then. Yeah. Or they did, but they they weren't trying to target keto at the time. Yeah, that's true. Um, let's see. Interesting. Thanks for answering my question. Yeah, the three tennis I tried is like blah. Mm. Not what I thought yeah, it would taste tried. like. James says hi, guys. James. Hey, you're here just before we leave. Atani says that she loves eggnog. Definitely have to try that one. Mm-hmm. I'm an eggnog fiend myself. Uh, Saskia says, oh yeah, it's in stores and I want to buy it so bad. I just keep telling myself, y'all will have it soon. <laughs> okay. Yep. Chanel says, I ignore the PDT versus PST. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heather says, nerd, nerd, nerd. I hate daylight savings times, too. Mm-hmm. Well, the funny thing is, every time we do the switch, everybody realizes, they remember how much they hate it. And they were like, oh, the daylight this time, savings time? This time we're going to get rid of it. Yeah. And no, for the last don't. two years, we've gotten progressively closer. Yeah. Um, our state, Utah, actually passed a bill that if, I think it's at least four states surrounding Utah ditch daylight, daylight savings, savings time, we, will we will ditch will too. it too. Like, if you do it, I'll do it. Yep. But um, the U.S. Congress has to you allow don't snack, I won't everybody snack. to do it. Uh, Heather says in a couple of weeks it'll be dark at five and that is dumb. And the thing about it is, it's, it's merely a construct. What time is it? Well, I can say it's midnight right now, and who cares, you know? Mike says everyone hates changing clocks. <laughs> I want us to join with Arizona time. Yeah, I do I, too. I actually want to permanently stay on daylight savings, is what I want to do, which, oh, is, and that's not Arizona, which is Central Standard Time. Yeah. Uh, Iona says, will you be putting up the different flavor combinations people are shouting on your website? Um, oh. They will be in the comments here. We actually should do yeah. a blog post about it. We do it. have um, on our site, there's a, there's a bunch hacks. of recipes, and then there's a little section that says flavor hacks yeah, that so. has a couple different ideas of things that you can do. Um, there was another person, recipes I think it was more. Mary. Uh, well, flavor you can't hacks, see it. it's at the. It's in the recipes. Click on recipes. Okay. Are you sure it's in mm-hmm. recipes? No. No. Go back up. Hold still. Yeah, it's not there. I thought it was in there. I thought it was in there too. Maybe there's no way people can find it because you know we what? Can't find it. I might have. Guess what? We're gonna fix after this. I do know where one place it is on the How to Prepare Keto Chow, mm-hmm. where it has the really fun. Look at us! Videos, Look at that baby. videos. Oh, here you go. Flavor hacks and recipes. Yes, it's there. So here's all the, a bunch of different Those things. Those are just a couple ideas of yeah. different things that you can do. Okay. Sorry, we need to hurry up because, ooh, that was fun. <laughs> okay, so Mary was saying, so glad I found you tonight. I need to order a 21-meal bag. What is your most popular flavor? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yep, number one flavor. And you won't regret it. If you like chocolate at all, you'll like chocolate. Yep. It's um, not like a dark chocolate or a fudgy chocolate. It's more like a milk chocolate. It's creamy. <laughs> Janelle says, thanks for the spreadsheet. I love research. Paradine says, be Pacific about the Pacific details. One yeah. of my peeves, mispronouncing words. <laughs> Hungry, he says, nerd. <laughs> uh, Lauren says, something is wrong, guys. Oh, no. Oh. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Mary says, woofer eggnog. All four of my subscription bags will be eggnog next month. 
Living Keto says, I was never so happy as when I found out that living in Arizona, we don't participate in daylight nice. savings. Nice. Now, Lauren says, let's see, maybe it's because I'm trying to buy it from my phone, but I don't get the same screen as you did. Don't have the option of shop sweet flavors. I'll try it from my desktop and report back. Oh, you know. It Can should still it? be there. Let me try it. Let me try okay. it real quick. Um, Hungry He says, how can you buy Chef's Chammy if you don't have a Sam's Club membership? Um, um. <laughs> I don't know if they sell in other stores. They, they have they a, do, They're like at They Harman's. have branded stuff at oh, Walmart. Oh, they have it. Yeah, they have it at Walmart. Like a bunch of their stuff is That's, it. I'm trying to remember it's what Walmart it's called. branded. Oh, shoot. What's it called? Because they gave us a bunch of the stuff that like flipped over and stuck to the lid. No, but he told me. Getting started, shop. Is it shop? Sweet okay, flavors. so if you click on shop, oops. So if you go to, can you see that? Well, so this is the home page. If you go to the little uh, hamburger guy right here, and then it'll open it up, and then it'll be shop nutrition. So I clicked on shop, and then the twenty one meal bulk packs, and then there, there it is. Oh look, it's, look, that's what it it did. Yeah, it's because you clicked on twenty one mil bulk packs. But on the main page that has everything, so this is all of the different catalog items. The uh, savory flavors. But she's I mean, looking for the sweet flavors. Right there. So we should get rid of the twenty one mil bulk pack section then. Um, people still go to it. That's why, because yeah. I I selected that one so you need to go find heather lemon. says can you imagine if you'd used butter in the taste test it was a little oh my gosh but we prepared each thing according to so the manufacturer's to recommendation a little bit on your phone. so we we didn't we didn't stack the deck in our favor it's in just any yeah. way saskia says focus groups are the best it, well and you know what the other thing was Nobody was keto. I mean, there could have been people that were keto. And the research center said, hey, do you want us to find keto people? And we're like, no. We just want regular people to taste it and see what they think. And so it was really nice. Because yep. then we just had people that just tasted it. Uh, Matt says, be a real nerd and say all the times on this UTC plus or minus hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, there's when he says, if it doesn't taste good, even with great nutrition, it will collect dust after one or two meals. Keto chow is the best. So good, you crave it. Yeah. Mike says Kitsch has the best. Uh, Mike says, I really, if I really, I think ready to eat drinks will have an entirely different customer base. I think so too. Which we are still working on, by the way. Um, Saskia says, I'm lazy. If I could get Kitsch out ready to drink, I'd be all over it. Me too. Yeah. Uh, Jen says, the employees got to do some taste tests too. Some of them were not very good. The, that is true. The page that That's shows true. the results of the taste test has the video oh, yeah. of the employees doing a taste test. That was the best. Jen was the best. You guys all want to go see. <laughs> we should just pull that up and show everybody. Let's see. Where was it? Do you remember? I'm just going to search for... Taste test. Taste. taste test. Oh, that's the actual taste test picture. Yeah, that was a picture when we were That's where we were it. sitting. So that was the blog post I did about it. Mm -hmm. This is the... Employee taste this. Oh yeah. man! So I'll copy and he paste that. He doesn't work for us anymore because he's all grown up. It's well, his wife does though. Not that. Not. Not. Oh, and wrong guy. Yes, you're right. <laughs> um, Marianne says I just started watching a few minutes ago for the first time. Do you find people have better weight loss results using heavy cream or butter? It kind of depends. It depends on too how long you've been keto. Yeah. So heavy cream is easier to mix it's up. By far easier. And it's creamier and it it's makes better thicker. ice cream. Yeah. But butter has a different flavor that some people mm -hmm. like a lot better or it's not. It's thinner and it you does, can taste the yeah. butteriness. But it is harder to mix up. It's it's harder to mix up, but Fewer it carbs. also brings out the flavor more. Yeah. So Yeah, especially for things like, like strawberry. strawberry. The or flavor banana, like really bananas punches. on sale this week, and it's a really muted flavor. But if you put butter in it, it tastes a lot more banana y. Tracy says, Keto Chow really does taste the best. I've tried other, some, so I have several other brands in my pantry that I should just throw out. They taste terrible. Yeah, but Marianne, just so you know, even though butter is harder to mix, it, it probably would be easier to lose weight with because you're going to have lower carbs. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. Oh. Weather is windy is telling Mary to get the sample back. You might be surprised at what becomes your favorite, but chocolate's pretty safe. Yeah, that's it true. Is. Uh, Keto Dana wants to know if we're going to do a recipe contest this year. I don't think we're going to this year. You know, relax and yeah, we, think about we doing it next year. Yeah, we thought about it and uh, we're playing playing with some ideas and I think we're gonna, we have some other stuff up our sleeves. Okay. Um, Stephanie says the thing that she liked about Arizona was no time changes. Um, mm-hmm. Mike says I make mine like dark by adding a tablespoon of dark cocoa. Oh, oh yeah, we have. Uh, Steve does that too at our work. Uh, Janelle just had chocolate peanut butter tonight for the first time. If I can order chocolate and just add PB powder. Yeah, actually you can. You very much can. Mike does not know who Chef Shammy is. Whoa. What the what? May the, I introduce the, you? That, there's two that are really good. There's the garlic butter. I actually like the European style butter, which is a very thick, creamy butter with chunks of salt in it. Okay, here is the website. I bet you can just order directly from the website. Uh, Heather's taking off. Oh, Heather, goodbye. Uh, Lawrence is okay. Uh, Tony says, I know this has probably been explained a million times, okay. but why do you guys keep mentioning butter? Are you supposed oh. to add butter? You can. You can use butter to mix up keto chow. There are several different fats, and that's actually one of the things I want to talk about is, uh, can you use coconut oil with keto chow? Uh, what are some of the fats that have been tested? So the easiest fat to start with is going to be heavy cream uh, because we, using heavy cream, it's easy to measure. It's easy to get. Um, and it's easy to mix. You can just literally just toss it into a blender bottle and shake it up. Um, with butter, you can melt butter. The same thing goes for several other fats that we've tested. Um, any, any hard fat that you want to test, like um, coconut oil, you can actually use things like bacon fat in the savory flavors. Um, anyway, you melt those. You use warm water that's warmer than the melting temperature and a blender. There it is, garlic butter. So this is their website, and they do um, direct to realtor. They they sell they it at sell Sam's it Club. at stores. Mm-hmm. So it's a it's at Sam's Club. It's at Walmart. Is it a Costco? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know where it is. One key thing: don't use garlic butter to mix your chocolate keto chow. We did have someone it's who did that, good. and it's not very good. But yes, so you can. But the use garlic butter. butter by itself is really good. Um, anyway, on this website, you can enter your zip code and it'll tell you where you can buy it. Yep. So Chef Shammy, they are here in Utah. Yep. And anyway, the son is my friend. We met him at... Uh, oh, he came to one of our meetups, actually. Yep. And then he came with us to KetoCon. Yep. Um, anyway, and another reason I keep talking about butter is I am currently doing a nutrition experiment. The short version of it is uh, last week I ate... All of my meals as keto chow mixed up with extra virgin olive oil, which is disgusting. Don't do and it. And it's please. not just olive oil. There's water. Yeah, water and, and extra olive virgin oil. olive oil. So you're using the butter or the oil yeah. for your fat. Yep. Um, avocado oil is much better, and that's another fat that you can use that a lot of people have really good success with. Um, this week, I happen to be doing three meals of three meals of keto chow using butter as the fat source. It is so good, especially compared it's to so extra virgin good. olive oil. Well, and it is a little tedious to, to melt the butter and then have the water warm enough that it won't like clump up when and you mix use a it. So it is harder to mix, but oh, it's, a bit it's more work. so good. Yep. And if you're going to heat it up, oh, it's so good. So I've actually, the entire time I've been doing this experiment, I've been heating up my keto chow and drinking it warm. Mm-hmm. So. Or rather, reheating it. Uh, Janelle says, you guys are turning me into a lazy cook. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm forcing myself to actually make one meal a day. Um, yeah, let's see. Janelle says, it's a choice and an option. I actually do two tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Yeah, well, and forever, before we started do, um, suggesting butter, I did half avocado oil and half heavy cream because I wanted the higher ketones. Yep. We've been going on for an hour and 44 minutes. Well, that's a long time. Here, I'm going to try to go through this really quick. When others when he says butter is better, Keto Dana is, pillow is calling my name. Deanne wants to know, are we going to have Black Friday deals? Yes, we will. And we're actually going to advertise them ahead of time. So you'll see that upcoming um, mm-hmm. in November. You can also, if you search for Keto Chow Black Friday, you can see, yeah, you can see what we've, we've done the last done. few years. Tanya says, what's HWC? Heavy whipping cream. Mm-hmm. Um, Lauren says it is done. Two bags on the way. <laughs> yes, Lauren. 
Christmas. Lauren says, it's Christmas in October. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I no longer feel fear starving to death. Um, Saskia says, ooh, garlic butter in the taco soup. Yeah. Garlic butter is also uh, bacon fat. And we, one thing Joe did, and he's probably checked out because it's so late there, um, is duck fat in the oh, taco Oh, yeah. Soup. I have never tried duck fat before. Yep. Uh, Hungry He says, I've never seen Chef Shammy at Costco. Oh, okay. Um, Brandon but, says, does a coffee frother oh. work for mixing instead of a blender? Uh, no. Uh, not because really. a coffee frother just makes it frothy and it wouldn't blend it properly an immersion blender in mm, a gallon pitcher like anthony is talking about but if you're going to like remix it like when you've already mixed it you could use a coffee frother if you wanted mike wants to know if i prefer being called a guinea pig or a lab rat um how about a nerd well lab pinky and the brain were lab rats so i kind of prefer that Janelle says, yeah, um, Black Friday deals. Chef Shammy, by the way, not all of them are sugar-free, so you just have to look at the ingredients. That is true. Although I do know that they're working on a keto sweet one. What the heck? Mm-hmm. Like a garlic butter? I mean, a no, honey like butter a honey or something? No, a honey butter. A keto nice. one. Nice. It's going to be a while, though. Okay. Okay, well, we caught up on comments. It's been an hour and 45 minutes. We're sorry for keeping you so long. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. <laughs> we so. so appreciate you, and we feel like we just... You're just part of our. Just had a lot to talk about. So freaking a lemon. Show it again. Thank you. Okay, one more. Big bags lemon. of lemon. There you go. Um, yeah, so that's on sale right now. So if you love the samples, if you didn't get a chance to try the samples, we will have samples back in stock. Someday. It'll take yep. a while though. Yep. All right. It'll take a while. We'll see you tomorrow morning, guys. We'll be doing another live stream tomorrow. So thank you so much. <laughs> okay, bye. bye.